This is just one of about 80 trucks on the road across Oakville and Burlington today. The preparation work began hours earlier as each city first applies a brine to the roads. So depending what type of precipitation you're receiving first, um, we'll anti-ice the roadways, the primary roadways, and then we do use brine with our salt on the trucks. We started with uh, brining the roads, so we put a direct liquid application, and that's to make sure that we're in advance of the storm, sort of making sure people are safe. Uh, for today, starting at about 7.30, our patrollers have been out all night and monitoring the weather conditions. So they have started at 7.30, sending and uh, you know all our contractors and town crews on their routes. This is what the storm front looked like as those crews headed out this morning. The blue denotes freezing rain, the green for rain, and the yellow and red indicate increasing intensity. In the operations center at the town of Oakville, they planned for it all. For salt, about 800 to 1,200 tons is, is typical for this type of event. So that will be applied uh, continuously. And uh, we, this will probably be a continuous operation till tomorrow. So when this event ends, we continue monitoring, we continue applying and continue plowing. And then we will get into sidewalks after the fact. This kind of mixed precipitation also means the response has to be adaptable. A straight up snowstorm, usually you know when it's going to start, you're dealing with it. Um, in these situations where the temperature is changing and we're getting rain, then ice rain, a mixed bag of snow, um, then th th we have to monitor the streets and, and deal with it accordingly as it's coming down. Roads departments will be approaching salting and plowing maintenance by prioritizing primary roads, regional roads, secondary roads, and then into neighborhoods. If you're in Oakville and wondering when a crew might get to your street, there's an app for that. If you go to Town of Oakville's website, you can go to the, snow clear, to the snow clearing page and you'd be able to look at the plow tracker. That will show what our activity and where are we in terms of, of operations. So where are trucks going? Where is plowing taking place? And it's, uh, it's about 15 minutes uh, that, that it, it takes to refresh. So at this time, all the residents are, are always advised to look at, at that uh, website helps you to know what we're doing and how we're making sure we keep you guys safe. And as the crews across Halton region work to ensure safe roads, a word of caution to be safe around the trucks. Please drive to the weather conditions and make sure that you do not uh, pass our plow trucks. For truck safety and uh, for operators on the road, uh, for the public, please not to try and pass our trucks when they're salting or, or in plowing operations. And um, keep your distance from vehicles in front of you in these situations, especially when we don't know when the uh, weather is going to change. Jason Trout, Halton News in Burlington.